week's episode of Gundam Reconquista NG, the battle between the Capital Army and Amerian Army continues to escalate as they take a war into space. This week's episode was classic Gundam. It was really, really simple episode, very little development, and just a lot of excuse to see massive robots ripping each other to pieces. There was also the formal introduction of the brand new Capital Army mobile suit, the Mac Knife, which essentially is like a slightly upgraded version of the Elf Bullock. It sort of has the same general shape, but it has this like hot pink coloring and this really weird, almost Gundam looking head. And it's now the signature mobile suit of Lou and Lee, otherwise known as Mask, and his associate Barara, the bunny girl. And it also seems like they're trying to introduce this sort of weird, like, love triangle between him, Barara, and Manny. And I'm not really sure where they're going with this, but I'm sure it's going to get a little crazy by the end of the series. But this week was all about the action, especially that big mobile suit battle at the end. And there's a lot of build-up to it, which I really love. And I'm actually still kind of shocked by some of the events of the series. Like, I honestly thought that Ida's father was going to be killed when he was making his way back to Earth to meet the president and basically bitch him out. But he realized that it's too late, the orders cannot be resigned, and they have to decide to go to war anyway. And I figured this would have been an excuse to kill him. And apparently the president is actually the father of Clem Nick of the Pirate Corps and Amerian Army as well. And Clem Nick is a rabble rouser. Him and Mick have this really great scene where they're getting all of the pilots really pumped up. And it's a very funny and goofy scene. And it is really interesting still. It still kind of like confuses me that this show does have a really good sense of humor. It always tries to remind you of that, despite the fact that it does sort of have that like typical kill em all old school Gundam feeling. But despite that, there is a little bit of action like that at the very end of the episode when you get to see all of the Mac Knives fighting against the uh, Capital Army and the Pirate Corps. Everybody just gets involved. It's just a big flashy looking mobile suit battle with a lot of big spaceships and warships. Mask also shows his underhanded side in this week's episode when he sees one of the Rex Nose escaping from the uh, Pirate Corps and he actually grabs him and uses him as a shield when he's confronted by the G-Self which has this brand new space backpack which essentially just gives it a little more maneuverability. I was hoping there would be more abilities, but at least he does get to use his weird beam attack, which actually knocks out the abilities of other mobile suits when he's fighting against Barara. But when he's confronted by Mask, they both get out of their mobile suits and have this hilariously awkward battle in space. It was kind of unintentionally funny to me anyway. Easily the most badass part of this week's episode is when Bellary gets back into the G-Self Gundam and he attacks Mask and his Mac Knife and then he ends up ripping its leg off and then kneeing him in the crotch. It's really, really satisfying and well animated and what I really love is that they're actually incorporating hand-to-hand -hand combat into the G-Self Gundam's repertoire because in typical Gundam anime series, it's usually just a beam saber and a beam rifle. Aside from like, say, maybe G Gundam or even Gundam Build Fighters. But I really like that, and I especially love just all the cool backpacks it keeps getting. By the end of the episode, the Amerian army escapes, the Capital Army goes away and retreats, and we get ready for another big battle. So what's the rundown? On this week's episode of Gundam Reconquista NG, it was good old school classic Gundam fun. I really loved the space battle at the very end of this week's episode, and I also really liked the introduction of the Mac Knife, despite the fact that it didn't really do anything too different from the Elf Bullock. In fact, it's basically just a sharper repaint of that, but still, I still love the overall design of it because it's just very unique and it doesn't really look like anything else from Gundam. Despite the fact that this week's episode had a lot of action, there was still a lot of room for humor. I already mentioned the scene with Clem, Nick, and Mick, and that scene was just great, the way they were firing up all of the pilots. But that final battle at the end was just what I really loved about it. Just I loved the artwork. I especially just loved all the colors, how they pop, how everything looks against space. A lot of the times when they do space battles in Gundam, sometimes things can look lazy and it just looks really clean and consistent in the series. And frankly, it's just fun to watch. It just looks really nice. And uh, I really can't wait to learn a little bit more about the relationship between Mask and Barara because she's a character who basically just sort of showed up out of nowhere and that's all we really know about her. She has weird bunny ears and that's it and she seems to be really close to Mask. But the fact that they're hinting at this weird little love triangle thing, who knows what that's going to open up. Uh, the G-Self's brand new backpack is nothing too special. It basically just gives it more maneuverability. But uh, I'm sure there's going to be some more upgrades as the series is going to go on. And it's really only a matter of time before Bellary finds out that Mask is indeed Lou and Lee. He was even shocked 
when he uh, saw that he had a mask underneath his helmet. He's like, yeah, I get all these signals and shit in here. I can even watch ESPN in this damn motherfucker. It's a really funny scene. Like, that scene when they're fighting in space was kind of clumsy and hilarious, and maybe that's what they were going for. But uh, still, I love this series. It's a really great mixture of old-school Gundam, really cool action, and a surprising amount of of good humor. I'm not sure why that is, but it's uh, really interesting, and I'm still really uh, curious to see where this show is going. My only real major complaint so far, and this this is something I've just been sort of harping on, is uh, Raraya's character, who just, there's no development with this character whatsoever. They're just keeping her on the back burner and trying to keep her mysterious, and it's only a matter of time before she finally regains all of her memories and starts possibly acting like a normal human. I don't know when that's going to happen, but uh, I really do hope it's soon, because her whole shtick is actually getting kind of old to me. Despite that, this was just a classic, badass space battle episode that if you're a fan of old school Gundam anime, or if you've been following this one, you should definitely check out. It was very high quality. The animation and artwork in particular was very good. So check it out, guys. I'm going to give this week's episode a 4 out of 5. I thought it was a really high quality one, and I still can't wait to see where the series is going, despite the fact that it is still slightly confusing. But remember, old school Gundam fans, check it out. Thank you guys for watching my review. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And before you leave, please tell me what you thought about this week's episode of Gundam Raycon Gista NG. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What do you want to see from the rest of this brand new Gundam anime series? Before you leave, you can also subscribe to our channel. If you have not already, you can do that by clicking on the channel icon right up here. And if you're feeling dangerous, you can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter.